And then some of us can layer in thyroid and other things. So those are going to be present. And so if you're doing all the right stuff here and you're like, darn it, this is probably one of the areas that really, really is contributing to my weight loss resistance, then what I want you to do in the comment below is say sleep. Because here's the thing. What I can tell you, when I went back to school, so I went back to school at 48, if you're the first time listening to me and this is the first time for you to, to, to hear me talk, I went back to school at 48 to get my PhD, not because I wanted to run up another school bill, but because I really wanted to get to the bottom of the hormone activities that happen in a woman's body and why, quite literally, we're screwed, right? Compared to men, we have a harder time with our weight, we have way more symptoms, we have way more risk for Alzheimer's, osteoporosis, and actually cardiovascular disease because of our hormones, and particularly as we go through menopause, the loss of those hormones. And I can tell you, I struggled with my 40s. I, my 40s were terrible. I had 35, almost 38 pounds too much on me that I gained almost overnight. I've been a bodybuilder before. I've lived in that lifestyle. I know how to manipulate my diet. And I've been a nutritionist for over 20 years. So this was a good 10 years of my life that I just could not make that happen. And I can tell you when I went back and figured out the things that we do in the Menopause Metabolism Mastery Program, one of the major parts of it was sleep. For me, 